And then his fraud cost us the company, and all the while, he was sleeping with Natalie. That is not true. Oh, really? It's not true? You weren't, you're, so you're not sleeping with Natalie, is that true? Look, Jessica, you want to yell at me, please be my guest. Don't embarrass yourself in front of your friends and family. Let's just go. Somewhere. Embarrass myself? Embarrass myself? Jared! Uncle Jared! Thank you for caring about my feelings, but I really think that my friends and my family want to know the truth about what happened to Nash, about why he died it and how. It was an accident. Really? It was an accident. Do you even remember what he said to you before the BE board meeting? He came to you to thank you. Thank you for saving his vineyard. And he said that he forgave you for buying it out from underneath him. Do you remember that? And he said, oh my God, that you were more deserving than him. Because after all, he married into the family, but you, you were the real deal. <laughs> what were you thinking when my husband humbled himself to you and he hugged you? Were you laughing at him? Were you laughing at him when he was hugging you? Of course not. Oh, you, you got one over on Nash Brennan. You must be really, really proud of yourself. Because I swear to God, I never intended to hurt you. No, you did. Remember? Because that's what you came to town for. To, to get Tess back. Remember? You kept on saying it over and over and over again. Tess put you in jail for something you didn't do and you were going to get her back. Remember? But Tess wasn't here. So, uh, so you, you took our vineyard anyway. You didn't care. You didn't care what it meant to Nash. You didn't care that it was our home. You just took it. And Nash had to borrow money from that awful man. He was so desperate to get it back from you. And you know what it was like for him when that vulture came to foreclose? He was already dead when you threw him over the ledge. You already killed his soul. Just, he was trying to get the money from the family. That's not his family, Natalie. God, you are no better than he is. He is a social climbing loser, and so are you. Oh, sorry, sorry. You know, you came from a decent family. Your dad was a drunk, but I'm sure your mom did the best that she can do. But you, you are just trailer trash. No, 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 they killed him. Yes, I know it seems like that. Come on, come on, we're going home. No, I have no home. They took it from me. You murderers, murderers. <laughs> Well, I think this funeral's a bust. I put your money on Jessica. Come sit down. Come sit down. It's cruel of you to come here. Get out! Both of them. No, no. She hasn't said goodbye yet. No. No. She hasn't said goodbye. Sit no. here. I want you to see him. I want you to see him. Don't, I want. Don't do this. I want you to see what you guys did. You know, the funeral director, he did the best that he could, but he couldn't cover up everything that you guys did. You did this. And this is how I'm going to remember him for his broken body, his empty eyes. Oh, my God, he's gone. He left us, my David, he left us. He's gone, Mama, look at you. Mama. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, baby, are you okay? How could I possibly be okay? Listen, that thing she said about the trailer trash was really harsh. But you know, we lived in a trailer or two, maybe three. But the truth is, we're not trash. We're survivors. Get her out of here. Let's go. The plan was for the family to accompany the hearse to the cemetery. Yeah, well, all those plans have changed now. Could you please get a hold of the funeral home and ask them to come and uh, pick up the casket uh, while the family regroups, and then we'll be in touch with them about the burial. Oh, of course. Thanks. Mr. Bell, anything you need, okay? Yeah, we can stick around if you need help with the... Okay, thank you. Tough day. I can't believe Jess lost it like that. Oh, my. Sometimes people just get pushed too far. That's right. Sometimes when you lose someone you love, it can just unhinge you. And in this case, I think her hysteria was genuine. Um, I want to go home. I've got some work to do, but I want to pay my respects first. 
Um, would you like to have a ride? Because Bo and I could drop you off. No, I'm okay. Well, it's just that Clint left, so I thought maybe you could use a ride. No, I can manage on my own, but thank you. You okay? Feeling lousy. This... Nash shouldn't be dead. None of this makes any sense. You know, now there's there are two little kids. They don't have a father. Jess, she's lost her husband. You know what? I, I just wish that I could push back time and then be able to just fix things. That's... Uh, I know exactly what you mean. But there isn't anything that we can do about the past. So all we can do is respect the present and hope for the best. Hey, darling, don't you think you should come back to Landfair with me? It's so soon. This is my home. Well, you haven't been back here since Nash was killed. Honey, it's just that uh, your mother and I think you may be rushing it just a little bit. He was reading the sports page. I I know that because he was uh, trying to decide what, what baseball game to watch that day. But no, wait. Leave it. Honey. It's just the wind. Uh.